Good morning, y'all. Okay. Sock, I washed my hair yesterday. It's twisted up. Uh, let me see if I can show y'all just a little bit. It's probably still got the white stuff in it. As y'all see, you know, it's still drying. Still wet. Talk about growth. Okay. <laughs> so this is how I sleep. Bonnet on, as y'all can see. I'm letting the hair dry. In a new place. Um, first of all, I wanted to say, well, if I didn't already say good morning, good morning again. It's a sunny day, but it's 38 degrees outside, and I don't do cold, so I'm going to need spring to hurry the hell up. For real, for real. I wanted to talk about a deep conditioner battle. They're both great deep conditioners. Got the same results, but I noticed the application was a little bit different. So that's TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. I did it on this side of my head, which is my right side. And the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Hair Mask with Silk Protein and Neem Oil Hair Mask. You know that's a long ass title. I did it on this side, which is my left side, but you know how the camera looks, so... Mm. And mm. they empty, of course, because I finished them yesterday. But with the TGIN Honey Miracle Mask, I got four uses out of this because I had to use more product. Um, and I used it, of course, on this side, boop, 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 which is my right side. I got four uses because it's a looser consistency. It was easier to spray it. But by it being looser, <laughs> I had to use more of it. And yes, I have another one, a full one of this that's in my deep conditioner stash. I had bought another one back in September when I saw I was running out of this one. But because I have so much deep conditioners, I probably won't get to that until like probably the summertime. They have a 12-month expiration date on all the products, so... I'm good, but yes, this is definitely going to be a staple. My hair loves stuff with honey in it. It's very good. Um, This one, it's a thicker consistency, so I got five uses out of this one, which, of course, you know, the fifth use was yesterday. It's very good as well. Like, my hair, I've noticed. Let me see if it's got any ingredients that I like in it. Well, what I did notice that it does have, okay, it's got argan oil, which my hair likes, that's in it. Coconut oil, it can be funny, but I believe my hair likes coconut oil. It does have, I love the way it smells. It has the good oils, soy protein or hydrolyzed, you know, my hair loves hydrolyzed proteins. It's got hibiscus, which I believe my hair likes hibiscus, so that's a good thing. It's got really good ingredients in both of them. Oh, price points. This going to cost you a little bit more. So it's going to cost you anywhere between $13 to $18 because, you know, taxes. If you find it at TJ Maxx, it might cost you on the lower end of $11.99, but by the time you pay taxes... <laughs> On it, it's gonna cost you right around thirteen dollars. Now, if you get this at a t um, Sally's or Target, it's priced at seventeen ninety nine, which gonna cost you closer to eighteen dollars and something. So it depends on where you get it. So I'ma up it and I'ma say from anywhere from thirteen to twenty dollars, depending on where you get this. But it's a good mask, and that's why I got another one. <laughs> And this one is priced anywhere between, when it first came out, it was $13.99 and like Targets and stuff. So I'm going to say 12 to, I'm going to say anywhere from $12 to about $18 is the cost of this one. Because, you know, you, same moisture for their mask, you might get it $9.99 depending on, you know, but this one, I, I, I haven't seen it for no $9.99. I've seen it right around $12. <laughs> and by the time you pay taxes, it's like $13 or something. But they both good math. So, like I said, 
Shea Moisture on this side, which is my which was my left side, TGIN on this side, which is the right side. The Shea Moisture is a thicker consistency. I got five uses out of that. The TGIN is a looser consistency. I got four uses out of that before they were both empty. Both are great products. When I talk about the feel of my hair, the Shea Moisture took longer to rinse out because it's a thicker. It did both great. Like my hair felt amazing with both the deep conditioners. Those are staples. I just, you know, because that was running out. I was like, let me do this cute little battle right quick. See exactly how it feels. What I can say though, the TGIN made my hair feel like butter. <laughs> Literally. It's, ooh, I could feel the moisture in my hair from both. <laughs> so I noticed immediately the TGIN made my hair feel like butter. It took me a while to rinse out the Shea Moisture because it's a thicker one. But when I rinsed it out, my hair felt silky also like butter. So it's a preference, but would I be buying both again? Yes, I already have another one of this. And I will buy another one of this. So both did pretty good. It's just whatever your price point is and it's a preference. But yeah. I've been using Shea Moisture for years. It's never did me wrong. I got into TGIN recently last year after seeing it for years and I'm impressed. So will I continue buying TGIN products? Yes. <laughs> will I continue to buy Shea Moisture products? You know I will. <laughs> okay. I don't care what they did. Okay. Like some of the YouTubers are like, I'm not buying them because of what they did. I don't give a damn. I'm tired of canceling natural hair products because of shit that ain't got nothing to do with me if it's growing my hair i'm not canceling it period now i might pause it and stop it for a moment because of the controversy and let the controversy die down to see if they learned a lesson <laughs> and if they have then i go back to them but if it's more bullshit then i'll make that decision oof eyelash in my eye let me in this live because <laughs> i'm looking crazy right now love y'all fams bye